time we remember what God did for us, the ultimate sacrifice that he did for all of us. It would be easy for him to just do it for all the good people, to save all the good people, but he did it for everyone because he knew that perhaps some good people would fall away from him. He also knew that perhaps some bad, evil people would see the light. They would come to him. So he had to do, he had to save everyone because there was a chance that people could change. So he did it for all of us. So as we take this bread, let us clear our minds and our thoughts and our hearts and remember the sacrifice he did with his body on that cross for all of us. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for, for sending your son down to earth to do such an ultimate sacrifice so that we could have the opportunity to be with you in heaven. Help us to realize just how great a sacrifice that was and how little of a sacrifice he's asking us to do in order to join him. In your name we pray, in your name we thank you. Now we partake of the juice, which represents and reminds us of the blood that Jesus shed so long ago for us. But also let us remember not only the blood that he shed, but the sweat and the tears that he shed to save us, and the sweat and the tears that he sheds each time we turn right away from him. And help us to try not to, to turn away from him and to turn towards him. Let us pray. Dear Lord, as we take this juice, we ask you that we can always remember the sacrifice that he made, not only the blood that he shed on the cross, but the sweat and the tears he shed back then and the sweat and the tears that he sheds each time we turn away from him. Let's try and endeavor not to do that. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, that concludes the communion for today. And now as a convenience, we can't, even though we're away from church, we can't forget the offering. The offering is so important for the continuance of this church. This church is so important to so many people, how many people it has brought to us just by being here and seeing it off the freeway or seeing it and coming into this church. And it's the offering that keeps this church going, plus all the other things that we do. So it shows Lewis and so many other charities and that, that we help out. And we ask, as always, and as God wants, that you give from the heart what you feel is right. There's no one that's going to tell you how much you should give or when you should give. You give what you feel is right and what you can afford. During these times with this COVID, I know it's really hard for a lot of people. So if you can't give or you can't give as much, don't feel bad. The Lord understands. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we're so thankful for the job we have. Those that have lost jobs or are out of work because of this COVID, we ask that they can get back to work soon. That this virus can end soon and they can get back to work soon, that they can get jobs. And we are just so thankful and blessed for all the things that you give to us each and every day. Help us to want to give to others, not only financially, but of ourselves. In your name we pray, in your name we thank you.